here on the SU Athletics Update. We're talking to Superstar Athlete of the Week, Michael Palmer from Johannesburg, South Africa. He won the Sooner Athletic Championships by five strokes and was named Sooner Athlo Athletic Conference Player of the Year. And uh, talk about your performance in that uh, Sooner Athletic Conference Championship Tournament. Um, well, I hit the ball really well off the tee box and I found that gave me a lot of good opportunities. And I mean, the short game, it wasn't really up there that week, but I think everyone struggled with the short game a little bit. But the real difference was my tee shots. I was in the fairway a lot, didn't get myself into too much trouble, and I think that helped. In the uh, final round, not exactly ideal weather conditions. In the 40s, <laughs> rain and sleet. Uh, how do you play through that, and what's your strategy when that happens? I mean, you, you just got to keep warm, keep your hands warm, and I mean, just get through it. But really, it's trying to eliminate, eliminate all the mistakes and just keep it as simple as possible. I mean, everyone's going to be struggling in that, in that weather, so it's really just trying not to make too many mistakes out there. You've won the individual title at the uh, SAC Championships twice now, both times at uh, Dornick Hills. What do you like about that course? I mean, to be honest, I don't really like the golf course too much, but I mean, I seem to play well there, I guess. Um, I like that you can be really aggressive. There's a lot of fun shots and lots of different things you can try on that golf course. and I, mean, I do like that about it, and it's, it's fairly short, so you can. There's, there's a lot of opportunities to play well there. The team's heading off to the, uh, the national championships now, the NAI championships, May 14th through the 17th in Salem, Oregon. What are your expectations heading up there? Uh, I, I think our team's looking good. We've got high expectations, obviously. Um, everyone in the team has had some kind of success during the season, in the fall and the spring, so I think we. I like our chances out there, and I think. It's a golf course that can suit us because the conditions are never that great there. So I think we, we perform well in tough conditions. So I, li I like our chances. How about you as an individual? I mean, that would be nice, but I really, I'm really i just looking forward to uh, an opportunity to get the national title. Uh, what's your major here at OCU? It's, I'm, a, I'm a finance major. Um, I've, I started off with accounting and just business admin, but eventually decided to go with finance. So what are your career plans beyond the game of golf? I mean, hopefully one day get back into the United States and um, find a career over here. But for now, it's, it's going home and playing on the Sunshine Tour back home and seeing where that takes me. Can you share something about yourself that people may not necessarily know? Um, I get mistaken for an Australian a lot, which is pretty devastating. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're talking to Super Strath of the Week, Michael Palmer. The Stars will take off for Salem, Oregon for the NAI Championships May 14th through the 17th. There's a call to be answered. The spirit of competition is still alive inside. The desire still drives. The phrase student athlete has a great ring to it. Lasting friendships are ready to be made. You just want to keep playing. Game on. Learn more at NAIA.org. Here on the SU Athletics Update, we we're talking to men's golf coach Kyle Blazer. The second-ranked stars captured the Sooner Athletic Conference Championship and now take aim at a national title uh, May 14th through the 17th. And, Coach, what kind of momentum do you feel like your team has coming off the conference championship? Uh, we've got momentum. We, uh, you know, anytime you win a tournament, you start feeling good about yourself. And, uh, you know, we actually our momentum, I think, came back from uh, Monroe, Louisiana. Uh, we I tried to break it down to three tournaments. We played really well the final round and started feeling – better about our game and, and then we carried it on to the conference tournament and you know we won by 19 shots and pretty tough conditions and I believe we were the low round all three rounds so uh, you know we've got a lot of momentum uh, we're starting to feel really good about our games and ourselves. We just talked to Michael Palmer who won the individual title and also uh, James Marcassani was named all uh, Sooner Athletic Conference talk about their uh, contributions throughout the season. Uh, they've been very consistent uh, but they've still been kind of reaching for parts of their game that uh, put them over the edge. Uh, I, th I think Michael made huge strides this last week of trying to keep the game easy for himself, try to hit the fat part of the greens and, you know, make your misses close to the hole. And, uh, 
you know, his short game's unbelievable, and he's got such a great golf swing. Uh, it's impressive to watch him hit balls. He's like a, a touring pro, and he's, I think he's finally starting to uh, simplify the game a little bit. Uh, James, James strikes the ball. Uh, it's, it's amazing. He's hitting 16, 17 greens around, which phenomenal numbers. Uh, he struggled a little bit with his putting. I wouldn't say struggled, but he hadn't been making putts. And, you know, last couple tournaments we've played, he's starting, the putter's starting to heat up. And it excites me to see that when, when a putter starts heating up because that means you can shoot some low numbers. And I think James is starting to feel good about himself as far as where his game's at. And, uh, you know, whenever you feel good with your putter, uh, you shoot some low numbers. You also have uh, Sandre Ronald and uh, James' brother Anthony Marcassani on the squad as well. What have they brought to the team this year? An awful lot. Uh, both of those guys have competed for individual championships. Uh, actually, uh, Anthony has uh, he has stepped his game up. I mean, he's improved more this year than any other player I've ever coached. Last year, he red shirt. He came in in January, and you know his golf game wasn't quite up to par as what uh, the, his teammates were. And I think he spent all summer and all, I mean, he, he's been working hard on his game and he's actually won a couple or won a tournament and been in contention about every time we, we, we played. So uh, he, he's really, I mean, as for a freshman, it's uh, remarkable what he's doing. Uh, Sandre's a, a senior. Uh, the remarkable thing about Sandre, this will be his first national tournament, although he has been an All-American before. Uh, he's a kid who, you know, some kids would probably complain, Coach, why am I not getting to go to the national tournament? Uh, Sandre has been supportive from day one. I love the kid to death. I, I've never been around a kid that has, uh, you know, just do what you ask and never ask why or never questions anything you do. And, you know, that means a lot to me as a coach that he's, he's put, put my, or supported me. And, uh, you know, it's his turn this year. And he's playing some good golf. And uh, it's going to be an outstanding event for us. We've got four guys that uh, have been in contention or won tournaments. Uh, and then we've, uh, you know, I finally made a decision on our fifth man. We're, we're fortunate that uh, we've got competition from 1 to 12. And uh, we, we've decided, you know, or I've decided that uh, Oswin, will, uh, a freshman from South Africa, will also be representing as our fifth man. And, you know, Oswin had a great, great, great uh, fall. I mean, he averaged 71 and a half, was in contention every tournament we played. So he's been there. He's played national events. So we're excited about it. Uh, the thing I like about this group, and it's not just the five that are going, but it's the, the group as a whole, we, uh, they're fun to be around. I mean, we don't have, some coaches say they have the bad apple that's always doing their own thing. We've got five guys that love each other. I mean, it's a family. We're gonna have a great time. We're, we're gone for uh, a week, so you can't, there's no time for bad apples. And we're, we're excited about the time we're gonna get to spend with each other and, you know, with our experience and, our caliber of players, I, I'm, I'm excited. We, we, we've got some confidence going, and it's going to be a fun week in Oregon. What have been some of the key moments throughout this year that you feel like have prepared you for the NAI championships? Uh, I don't know key moments. It, it's, we have key moments every day we play. I mean, somebody shoots a good number. Uh, key moment for us is going to be winning conference tournament, winning tournaments. Uh, if you know how to win, it makes it that much easier when it, it comes time, um, you know, we are the defending national champions. Uh, these guys have been there, done that. So I think we've got, got some experience. I've got some good senior leadership and, uh, you know, key moments. I, it's been from September. We've had a bunch of key moments. But uh, uh, James is starting to play better. Michael's starting to play better. We've got a freshman that's on fire. Sandre's been in contention. And, and now we've got, uh, you know, a, a guy that's really finding his game in Oswin. And, uh, it's, it's going to come together at the right time. That's what we talk about. Tell us about uh, Creekside Golf Club, where the uh, NAI championship is going to take place. It rains. <laughs> it rained every day last year. Uh, I believe we got in Saturday, and it was kind of overcast. We got to practice a little bit. Uh, we, we, as, the, as we finished our last hole, the final round, it kind of got sunny on us. But, uh, you know, it, it's, it's endurance. Uh, I, I hope it's not like it was last year. I hope the weather's, you know, we could do without some of the rain. But every day it rained on us, uh, and we're, we're prepared for that. I mean, it's supposed to snow again on Thursday here, so, and it's May. I, I just can't believe this weather. But uh, it does make us mentally tough when, when there's adversity. And 
we're ready for whatever Mother Nature throws at us. The golf course, uh, it's it's lush and green, uh, fairly long, but uh, you got to it's demanding off the tee box. You got to keep the ball in play. Uh, Poana greens, which get a little bouncy, and uh, we're we're we'll be fine on it. We're used to it. We hit great shots, and we're we're great ball strikers. So it's gonna it suits up suits us well. Tell us about uh, Peyton, who's the niece of your assistant coach, Taylor Artman, and the impact she had last year when she spoke at the national tournament. Yeah, Taylor's uh, niece, Peyton, she's had uh, brain cancer. She's 13 years old. Uh, she's from Colorado. She was one of the top, I mean, she was state champion for age group in uh, tennis. And uh, they had a procedure done, and they, didn't, they couldn't get it all because of her uh, spinal cord. But uh, Peyton, who Taylor was a senior last year, he was on the national championship team, and she came to the national tournament, and you know it was an inspirational for me. I mean, emotional for me, but for the team to have a 13-year-old girl that uh, has gone through all the battles of life that she's gone through, and we're here playing a game that we're so fortunate to have the opportunity. And for her to say, "Fight through it, battle. You can do it." Every day, walking the golf course, supporting us. I mean, it was it was awesome. Uh, she was in town this weekend, and. You know, some of the guys got to see her again, and she's forever uh, a part of my heart and my life. So she's a sweet little girl. What ingredients go into a championship team? Uh, like I said, team bonding, uh, everybody getting along. Uh, I think that goes a long way. Confidence right now, we're on a, uh, I think we're pretty confident. I think we can go out there and play with anybody in the country, regardless of who they are. But uh, we're, we're ready to go. Uh, we got to get off to a good start. And regardless of national championships we won, you've got to make your bad round. We're going to have a bad round. Your bad round has got to be minimal. I mean, you're, you're going to have a bad score, but save shots, save shots, save shots. We've talked to uh, the guys, and, and Michael's been around. It, golf's a unique sport. It's, it's individual, but it's team now. And uh, instead of feeling sorry for yourself when you're having that bad round, you've got to fight for the team. And... This group of guys that I've got, I mean, they're, they'll fight tooth and nail for the team. So we're excited about it, and I think we've got all the ingredients to go back and defend our title. All right, we're talking to men's golf coach Kyle Blazer. The Stars get on the road to Salem, Oregon, May 14th through the 17th for the NAI Championships. That's it for this week's edition of the OCU Athletics Update. Check back every week for all the latest in OCU sports.